it's Kayla and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing some meal prep. So I want to show you some of the recipes, ooh, this shouldn't be on, um, that I like to meal prep um, for it myself when I'm feeling like having things ready to go for the week. So we're gonna make four things today, I think. So we're gonna start with the um, taco chicken that I make all the time. It is zero points on my WW. Um, the only thing in it that's worth any points is the seasonings, um, but I don't put enough seasonings in, obviously, for a serving to be worth any points. So, um, this is based on a recipe from, I want to say, the 2018 Tone It Up Bikini Series. Um, and it was actually a recipe who that was sent in by... Um, someone who does turn it up, who um, is on Instagram, and I believe, what is her Instagram name now? It was different back then. Let me look up her Instagram name, because it's changed since 2018. Um, uh, Tara Bainbridge Kitchen, that's whose recipe this is. It was in the Tone of Bikini series. Um, the first year I did it, it is delicious, and this is not the exact recipe, but this is like based on that. So the basic ingredients. Chicken, which I've got in the sink right now. Um, whatever salsa verde you're feeling. Uh, onions. Chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper in the crock pot. Um, I'm using frozen chicken, it's not quite thawed yet, so it'll probably take about six hours on high. Um, but we'll kind of see, usually it's six hours on low, four on high. Um, if you're using already thawed chicken, so we're gonna check it at four and then check it again at six and we'll kind of see. It's currently 9.40 a.m. So we've got plenty of time. So I already started to chop up the onions because I just thought that'd be easy to get that done before I started filming. Uh, I'm gonna spray down the crock pot. Sometimes I'll put in like the crock pot bags, um, but since it's gonna be in for so long, I'm just gonna spray it. Ooh, that cooking spray, which I know cooking spray is points and it's hard to track, so I don't. Um, so put that away. So then I'm gonna get this chicken. This is, I wanna say 12 ounces of chicken. Um, I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit longer, then I'll put that in and then I will show you kind of how I add things in. Okay, so I got the chicken open and I decided I only wanted to use two packs of that, so I'm only using eight ounces of chicken. Normally I would use a whole pound of chicken, but this honestly looks like it's a whole pound of chicken, so I think the weights on the bags were wrong um so i had the chicken in there um i'm gonna turn the crock pot on while i'm adding ingredients just so it starts warming up because i am using um still chilled chicken so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pop the top off of this here salsa and drop it in Okay, I'm gonna add just a little bit. Um, you don't always do this, but for this one I am just because it's in there frozen. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water into the salsa jar and dump that in as well. Okay, so there is the salsa. So for seasonings, I totally just eyeball. So I do what I like. Salt and pepper, just, you know, not that much. You don't need that much salt and pepper. These are the basic whatever. Um, so just a little bit of salt and pepper. Now this is where I have fun. So garlic powder, my fave. Ooh, where is the shaker side? There we go. Um, this is probably the equivalent of a like tablespoon, let's be real. Um, I like it. Uh, chili powder, I see if this was only for me, which actually this batch might be. I would do a lot. If it's for my family, I do less. I think the recipe actually calls for like two teaspoons or something, but I'm like, no, 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 no. You need all the chili powder. This chicken is spicy. Okay. And then onion powder. A little bit less than the other two, but still. Oh, quite a bit, but I put actual onions in this, so I don't need nearly as much onion powder. Okay. So that is in. And next, I am going to put in the onions. But right now, we got chicken, we got salsa, we got seasonings. All right, so everything's in there, and after I got the onions in, I just, it's gross, I know, but I wash my hands before and after, do not worry. I got in there and I like broke up the chicken and mixed up the onions and the seasonings, and because I'm extra, I am gonna add more seasoning onto the top because I like things to be spicy, and it keeps my family away from my food if it's too spicy for them. <laughs> so a little more of everything just on top, and it'll just, you know, seep down. Um... Sorry, onion powder's hard to open with one hand. Um, it's not a flip lid, it's a 
twist one. But everything else is just a flip lid. So that makes it really easy to one-handed film because I did not bring a tripod downstairs this morning. <laughs> okay. A little bit more garlic powder. And voila. So this is what it looks like right now. We got onions, we got salsa, we got seasonings, we got chicken. Um, it is on high. I'm going to pop the lid on and we're going to leave it there. We will check it. Um, it is currently 9.50. So we will check it in four hours, which will be 150. So I will check back with you on this one at that point, but we'll have started cooking other things by then too. I just set an alarm on my phone for 1.55 p.m. so that we know when to check it. All right, we're at about two and a half hours. Um, it's 12 and nine. I haven't started cooking anything else yet. Um, I have a meeting in a little bit, and so then after my meeting, I'll probably cook. Um, I don't know what I'll cook after the meeting, actually. I have a couple things I want to do today, but um, some of them, these are tenderloins, not, um, not just breasts. Uh, so they take a little less time to cook, but since they were frozen, I think they'll still, some of them will still need that full six hours. Um, but some might only need four. We'll see. Some are pretty cooked already, the ones that had defrosted more. So we'll check it again in about, you know, a little under two hours. And they might be done by then, which would be great. Um, I could put that away and then maybe do something else in the crock pot today. Um, because that will only be 150 and then I would still have time to use it in the crock pot for another meal. So we'll see what happens, but so far it's looking good, smelling real good. Hello, so it is 1.30, the chicken's still going, um, but I did just pull out um, some boxes of zucchini ah, and carrot spirals from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna saute these up later um, together, put some seasonings on them so they're ready to have with any meal um, throughout the week, but they're so hard to cook um, if you take them straight out of the freezer and cook them. So I got them out to, um, deep, like as you can hear, their heart is freaking rock. So this is a glass stove top. I should not be throwing these. Um, but so I'm getting those out so they can thaw a little bit before I try and cook them because you can't cook them from frozen like the box says you can because they are bricks. So those are out so I can cook those later. Um, Cause I'll just have those ready meals. I can make pasta with the taco meat. I can make, all sorts of things, I can have them as a side. Um, so I've got that. There's the chicken looking pretty good. I think it'll be done in under six hours, which is great. Um, benefit of using the frozen tenderloins instead of the full breasts. Um, yeah, I think it's important to do meatloaf, but I did realize that I don't have any more onion, so it'll be onion free, but that's fine. Won't be as good, I'll just add some more onion powder to it. It'll be fine. Um, so I'll make that eventually. Um, I think that's everything. There's a turkey breast in there. We got my sugar-free ketchup. We got Worcestershire's in here somewhere. I don't know where it is. It is in here. Oh, no, let's say one. I'll find the Worcestershire sauce. It exists. Um, but yeah, that's what I know. So, oh, and do we have eggs? Yes, we have eggs. We're good. So that's what I'm doing right now, and I will check with you guys in a little bit. Okay, I consider this to be meal prep. We're making pumpkin cookies. <laughs> Here's the recipe. You buy the box at Target, you put it on a pan, you bake it for 10 to 12 minutes, then you have pumpkin cookies. All right, so the chicken is done. Um, I have it just on keep warm um, in the crock pot. I shredded it up a little bit. I'll shred it up more when I um, put it away. I'm just leaving it on keep warm um, in case I have it for dinner tonight. And then we've got cookies, which of course we already ate some. So that's the first part. I'm gonna go ahead and um, saute these up so I can put them away. Um, and then I'll make the meatloaf a little later. What time is it? Yeah, it's only 3.30, so I probably won't get that in the oven until like 4.45 or 5, because that's probably what I'll have for dinner tonight. Um, but yeah, so I just have the noodles, the meatloaf, and then I'm gonna make some overnight oats, but that'll do um, a little later. So I'll check with you guys in a bit. So I got my olive oil, and I got my noodles out of their packaging. The zucchini technically needs to go for longer, so I'm gonna put that in first with like a, just a tiny bit of olive oil. Um, and then I'll let that go for a little bit, then I'll add the carrots into the same pan and probably a little more oil. Let them go, but essentially you just put them in the pan, you saute them up with a little oil, you put the lid on, you leave them for the zucchini. It's um, seven to nine minutes. Um, and then the carrots, it is uh, three to four. So the zucchini is put on without any oil and then add the oil in. Um, so I won't add the oil until I add the carrots. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get this started. 
So yeah, so it says you put them over medium heat and you put the lid on it and you just let them cook. So I put them there. I'll break them up um, once they've been heating up for a little bit. But literally in there with lid. I only use this big of a pan because I know where the lid is and also because I'm out of the carrots in. Um, normally I wouldn't use that big of a pan for just a little pack of zucchini noodles. So I'm cooking those. I'm going to mix them together because they're both zero points. They're just veggie noodles. So I don't mind having both together. I'll probably add a little bit of seasoning in too once the carrots are in. But that's what I'm doing right now. I added in the carrots and just a splatter of oil, letting those, letting the carrots finish, like defrosting, and then I'll kind of saute them a little, add some flavor. And I'm just gonna use like my standard seasoning profile that I use for everything. So a little salt and pepper, onion, garlic, paprika. Paprika is my favorite thing in the world. So um, I'm gonna keep working on those and I will show you what they look like when they're done and put away. All right, so here it is, my zucchini and carrots. Um, I will say I'm not impressed by the zucchini. That was the first time I actually cooked the zucchini ones and they said they needed more time, but they got really soggy. They didn't really fry up the same way the carrots do. So. Probably won't buy those zucchini ones again. I'll always make my own. But that is done. I got my veggie noodles ready to go for the week. And then a little later, I'll make the meatloaf and overnight oats. Okay, so it is um, almost five and I was gonna make my meatloaf. But it turns out that my turkey is not all the way done defrosting. I didn't take it out soon enough last night, so it is still pretty much frozen solid. Um, so I'm not gonna make that tonight. I'll probably make it for dinner tomorrow. But the recipe is on my website, stylebykalexo.com. It is the low point turkey meatloaf recipe. That is the blog post. I'll have a link in the description still. If you wanna try it out, it's really good, but I won't be making it tonight because um, the turkey is not ready to be used. And so that's not happening. So I'm probably not having some of the taco meat for dinner and that's totally fine. So um, I'm gonna get out my oats. So I have those and then make that. Ooh, it's dark. Okay, I am working on the red oats right now. I've got um, half a cup of rolled oats, um, a little less than half a scoop of peanut butter protein, half a scoop of chocolate protein, and a half a tablespoon of chia seeds. So that's what that looks like. And then I'm gonna add in some almond milk. Boom, so I'm just gonna get those all made up and I'll show you the final product. All right, here they are, three batches. They're eight points a piece. They're kind of a hefty breakfast, but it's totally fine by me. Um, yeah, so I am gonna get some cleaning up done and then I will show you everything I prepped today. Um, I'm bummed I didn't get you the meatloaf, but it's okay, I'll cook it tomorrow. It's no big deal. All right, so meal prepping is done. It is 8 p.m. I'm not upstairs and read. I was just watching the Democratic National Convention because my dear, dear friend Carly was speaking about It's On Us and I love her and I cried and it's fine. Um, it has nothing to do with this video, but I just had to say that. Um, so, I was able to prep four things today, technically three, but you know, we gotta count our pumpkin cookies. Um, honestly, these aren't bad points wise. It's five points for two and I'm not mad at that. Um, okay. So we've got the chicken, um, the taco chicken, that literally is so simple. I can't share the recipe, I don't think, unless they've changed where it is on the website. Um, so I'll look and see it. And if I can share it, it'll be in the description, but I don't think I can. Um, I think it's in the paid plan, but I will find that out for you. Um, so there's that chicken, which I'm gonna put in the fridge. Then we've got the overnight oats, which this is just like me throwing together overnight oats from a the same recipe everyone uses ever. Um, and then we've got the zoodles and I don't want to call carrot noodles koodles because that doesn't sound right, so carrot noodles. Um, so that's what we've got prepped. I'm gonna make that meatloaf tomorrow. Um, I just wanted to have a few things that were easy. I noticed during the summer I really struggle with cooking, especially in August because it's just so hot and I don't want to be in my kitchen. I don't want to be cooking and then it gets dinner time and I'm like, I'm going to order a takeout or I'm going to make a frozen pizza and that's just not, that's not the mood. So now I have a few things that make it easier for me to prepare some like good meals um, without having to actually like stand over a hot stove in August because your girl's not about that. Um, yeah. So if you like this video, give it a little thumbs up. If you want to see more meal prep videos, more food videos, let me know in the comments below, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!